So it was good. All of you mentioned the idea that prayer and fasting is key. But all of you also missed a huge third leg of the church. If the church were to have three legs, you had two of them, but you missed one. Can anyone tell me what they think that they missed? Is there something that goes along with prayer and fasting in scripture that we missed? What do we miss? It begins with an A and ends with a G. Angel. No. Okay. Is it Bamaranya or English? No, Bamaranya. No, we'll sleep in our tongue because no. Bamaranya, my tongue. Angel. Angel. What did you say? Do you want to learn a funny word? I could teach you funny words, but no. Uh, everyone say alms giving. Oh, I love giving. I, I, I can't hear you. Everyone say alms giving. Alms giving. Alms giving. Alms giving. Alms giving. Alms giving. And now we'll say in good, but it's also used in a heart. Say miswat. Miswat. No, no. Not miswat. 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 Miss 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 it could be giving things in repentance, but you're not you're not quite there. You're close. You're very close. You're closer than anyone so far. Um, to, um, to, to give thanks to the, to the Lord by praying? No, no, no. Um, to really? No one knows what alms are? Repentance? Repentance? No. You don't know alms? You've never heard this word? I, I think I've been through the curriculum. I heard alms giving, but I don't know. You don't know what it is? Yeah. So alms giving is when you give what you have, what you own, to the poor, to the needy. Okay? And the reason that you do that is because you're giving thanks. You could consider it a prayer. You could consider it an act of repentance or turning away from your past sins. But the reason that we give alms or that we give to the needy and to the poor is because we acknowledge that God is Amlah. Amlah in our language and in the sister Semitic languages means directly God. Lord is close. Lord would be Igzi or Igzio or Igziabir. Amlak is God, but when you get to the meaning of it, what we mean by God is sometimes interpreted differently than other people. For us, God is the person in charge. God is the property owner. And do you know what's God's property? It may be easier to say, what isn't God's property? And the answer is nothing. Because He owns everything. He owns everything in the heavens and the earth. In the beginning of Genesis, we hear, He created or He crafted or He authored the heavens and the earth. So he owns everything. In response to him owning everything, we realize that we on this earth are just guests. We're in Gruj on this earth. This is not our permanent residence. We are here for a temporary time. That time could be 80 years, it could be 800 years, it could be one year. We don't know how long we're gonna be here. And so in response, in a thankful manner to God, with our prayer and fasting to make sure we're not hypocrites, we give alms. What do we do? Give alms. What do we do? Give alms. And how do you say it in good? Give this one. 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 Can you say it's a high? Can you say it's a lot? Can you say Sasata? Can you say Miswat? Miswat. Okay. Asbalu? 
Say it. Salud. 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 Miss Watt. Miss Watt. Okay. We're, we're going to practice on it. But it's the same sound as is Ahayo, Salud. Miss Watt. Which means what? What does Miss Watt mean? No. Miss Watt. Huh? Almsgiving. And what's almsgiving? Oh, give it to the poor. Give it to the poor. Giving all you Thank have you. to the poor. So, 